As we mentioned earlier, thousands of images from the app Snapchat have been taken by hackers. Most of the users on the social media app are teens. Yes, ages 13 to 17. Snapchat is adamant that its servers were not hacked. The hackers apparently obtained the images by compromising a third-party app that some Snapchat users downloaded to store their photos. I'm going to explain that a little bit more in detail with Patrick Gallman in just a second. So it's otherwise automatically deleted a few seconds after viewing. So we brought in our social media expert <laughs> for this one. Morning, Bobby. Good morning. The big dog. Patrick Allman is here. And Patrick, <laughs> we want to talk about this site. It's very popular for teenagers. Right. It's an app right there on the phone. What makes it so appealing? I think what makes it so appealing is the fact that it looks like that you can take images and store them temporarily. And I can send it like an image to you and it disappears in three seconds. Mm -hmm. The challenge has been that I've kind of been preaching since the moment Snapchat came out is nothing you send over the internet disappears in three seconds. And that's coming to fruition here. And I believe this weekend over Right around 100,000 images are going to be leaked from, from Snapchat. They're using it to sex, these teenagers. So how do you talk to them? How did you talk to your teenage daughter about uh, it? The way you talk to your teenage uh, daughter or son is let them know that anything you take on your phone, anything that goes off of your phone over the internet to another phone might as well be in the public. Snapchat and the, all these other services can protect your information as much as possible, but there are a lot more hackers out there than there are good people, and the hackers are spending their time trying to get access to our personal information. So if it leaves your phone, might as well call it public. Okay, let's go on the part of mainly teens are using it for sexting because they think it's going to disappear. Right. This could be in child porn territory now that these photos have been taken. Exactly. The, the hackers that have done this, the hackers that have breached the servers that had this information are really towing the line with this law here and hopefully cooler heads will prevail and they'll realize that these are not necessarily pictures of adults. These are not pictures that we should be sharing with the public. This is completely inappropriate and it's not going to help anybody by doing this. This is what you've got to break down. Okay, so the Snapchat spokesperson says, quote, Servers were never breached and not the source of these leaks. Exactly. And I said, well, how in the world can that be if these are Snapchat photos? And you broke it down for me in a way that I think everybody else can understand. Okay. The way it works now with, with mobile phones, I don't have mine here, is a lot of times when we want to use a new app, like let's say Instagram, mm -hmm. you sign up for Instagram and it says, hey, I can make this sign up really easy for you. How about I just use your Facebook information? Mm -hmm. And you give Instagram authorization to use your Facebook information. That's the same thing that happened here with Snapchat, is another service, another third-party service said, hey, I want to have access to your Snapchat information to make it really easy for you to sign up. And that's what happened. And this third-party service is actually one that had the breach and has all the photos. It's not Snapchat. We should make that clear. It's Snapchat here has done nothing wrong. A third-party service has used kind of Snapchat's authorization and gotten access to this information. Unfortunately, it's going to be out here in the world, exposed to the world pretty soon. I think that that's really telling to say that if you do give a third party access, like on Instagram, right. or let's say you're signing up for um, even Pinterest, right. and you say, yeah, you can use my Facebook account, mm -hmm. okay, well, you got to know that Facebook not only needs to protect yourself, but now they need to protect it as well. Exactly. You just opened it up for somebody else. Exactly. Patrick, as always, we thank you for helping us better understand this. My pleasure. Vital information for our teens out there and parents. All right, coming up in three minutes. You stick around with me, okay? Going to be here for a while.